do subscribe to Ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering, HSE and IIT JE main and advanced videos. Hello students, today we are studying chapter human health and diseases. In that we are studying topic treatment of cancer. Now we all know that cancer is nothing but unanimous division or uncontrolled proliferation of cells. Now how cancer can be treated and what are the various ways? Let's try and find out about them today. Cancer. Now if I speak about cancer, it is nothing but uncontrolled division of cell or uncontrolled proliferation of cells. In cancer, there is no programmed cell division or I could say that there is no apoptotic division or apoptosis that is programmed cell death never takes place. A cancer patient can develop cancer in any form. It could be benign, it could be malignant, it could be leukemia, sarcomas, any form of cancer. But every form of cancer has a certain treatment procedures. The few treatment procedures or options that are available today and widely used today are surgeries. Now surgery is nothing but removal of that part which is cancer affected or where cancer cells have been grouped. That's the most commonly used procedure. The second procedure could be chemotherapy or you can say radiation therapy. Now certain x-ray, cobalts, chemicals are used as a chemical inducing agent at that particular location wherever cancerous cells are growing. Now what happens during this x-ray radiation is that along with killing the cancerous cell, these radiations or chemotherapy also kill the healthy cells of your body since they cannot differentiate between the healthy and the non-healthy cells which ultimately leads of loss of hair, loss of health in the cancer patient, especially weight loss and other symptoms. Vaccines. Now certain cancers, especially leukemia or blood cancer also can be cured in certain stages which include certain vaccines. Bone marrow transplant could also be option in certain forms of cancer if it is originated with lymphomas or leukemia or blood cancer. Immune therapy. Now immune therapy is the latest development in the treatment area of cancer. This uses monoclonal antibodies or ready-made antibodies to destroy only cancerous cell. Now this monoclonal antibodies are made in a certain way that only destroy cancerous cell leaving your useful cells. Gene therapy could also work in certain form of cancers if allowed and it is not proliferated to much greater extent. Treatment for cancer. Now, depending upon the type of a cancer an individual has developed, whether it is malignant, benign, leukemia, lymphomia, sarcoma, there are different options available for treatment. Now, most of them include surgery, radiation therapy, vaccines, chemotherapy, and bone marrow transplant. Now, if we talk about surgery, this is the most direct approach to remove a tumor. Now, if somebody has got a tumor in the brain part, Surgery could be a really bad option since we all know that brain cells or neuron cells are intertwined in them. Now neurons are connected in a very slight coordination manner and during tumor removal if slight touch or slightly a neuron is infected which was not cancerous that it can elicit a certain kind of 
immune response which cannot be refunded back later even it can be lethal to your body at later stage of your life even if you survive that cancer operation next is radiation therapy and then about radiation therapy it means that x-rays which could be radioactive substances like radium cobalt phosphorus that destroy cancer and when this elements are using to destroy cancer they can have certain side effects in your body for example your natural cells or living non-cancerous cells are also destroyed in this process so cancer therapy or radiation therapy is not a good option in that perspective there are certain vaccines that have been developed for cancer nowadays this vaccines when attenuated or mixed with chemotherapy now chemotherapy are nothing but drugs which are alkylating agents and this alkylating agents or it could be antibiotics that are used to kill that infectious cancerous gene or infectious cancerous growing cell bone marrow transplant is a new option that's available for cancer treatment which is not widely used or widely popular in this the bone marrow auto transplantation of the pa patient stem cell are done now we all know that stem cells are those cells in our body that has the ability to regenerate to any other type of cell so in case if the stem cells of a particular patient are preserved those stem cells can be used to formation of any other organ cells tissues for that matter this is you can be say a preventive option if somebody gets cancer in the future they can be cured in this manner and this is one of the expensive process that are available today Immune therapy is one of the techniques that is can be used for treatment of cancer. Now monoclonal antibodies are ready-made antibodies that can destroy only cancerous cell and they save the normal cells of our body. Gene therapy using a retrovirus carrying a normal P53 gene is directly used for lung cancer treatment or lung cancer or bronco cancer treatment or bronchitis inflammatory cancer. The new or the readily available cancer treatment includes injections of interferons. Now interferons generate a cascade of reaction mechanism which can actually prevent certain illusions or certain non-cancerous reactions in our body. Students, in this part of the chapter what we came across was the different types and different options that were available for treatment of cancer. Now which option one individual should use depends upon their health condition and in which stage of cancer they are. I hope students you all are very clear about this concept. Thank you.